So let me ask you this then. How come is it out of all the people that train, how come so few become so good? <laughs> yeah. That's why. Because it's a very funny. Because if you're not see uh, the difference, basically, when you see the all the traditional uh, uh, way of uh, Pretzi and today, today we care more about the fundamentals. We do better uh, with more details, uh, Ichikimioma or punch or so on. They learn kind of, if you know, if you see, when you, even when in China, you see the whole, 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 whole methodology, no method, but methodology, you see the, the, it's kind of chaotic, you know, endemic, right? You feel it that? You know, because it's not so organized the way we do here. But the quality is good, sometimes even better yeah. than us, you know, yeah. because it's more natural. It's like we see a, a, a garden uh, in an oracle, in Versailles, uh Palace, which mm -hmm. is very beautiful, very well cared. And you see in a natural forest, you know, because it's kind of maybe more chaotic, but they are more systematic and more systemic, not systematic, systemic. Right. Yeah. And uh, sometimes when do you uh, take out some uh, movement, like uh, you play just tanda, 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 or pakda, 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 that thing maybe I can play specifically, uh, technically speaking, better. But sometimes I don't know the context how to use it well, because that's the point. Mm -hmm. It's not just play technically better, but when and how and with whom I have to play exactly the moment this part that, or maybe not. Maybe never I can I have opportunity to use Pakda because I have no conditions for it. So let me because say, let's pause you there because that that's something that I've been working on since 2017. <laughs> I have said I in 2017 I, I said to myself, how come is it the people who are so good have this awareness about them mm -hmm. that a lot of people never never attain? And I thought, you know, how could I develop that? How could I understand that? And exactly what you were saying, it took seven years to go back and and I came up with some of the same ideas. I I may not ever use Pak Tan, whatever, because the conditions aren't correct. I have to accept that the reality is the reality. Mm -hmm. So there was a shift in a lot of people because they would think, let me do a Lapta because Lapta is amazing. No, right. Lapta is amazing when the conditions are perfect for Lapta. Exactly. So how... Exactly. So how do you, so I said, how come those greats who are so great, what do they do? What awareness do they have that the mo rest of us just don't have? And how can I get that? Yeah, the point is how to identify the conditions or how to create the conditions. You know, that's the point. In now, uh, I mean, normally when you talk about strategy in our, in the Western world, First thing we want to focus is the goal. What are you going to achieve with that? You know, but based on uh, in the Chinese and the classical Chinese strategy, I mean, I don't talk about Chinese strategy because it's too broad, you know, because the Chinese strategy nowadays using all, all kind of a strategy, including American. Uh, or Russian, everything. But if you go back to the classic Sun Tzu and so on, you see the main point for them is not the goal. Main point for them is the condition. How the condition I have, and based on the condition, I you assess the goal. So, so it's is opposite. That, is that similar? I, I would say over the years, I said, you know, what do I do? And when do I do it? And for years, it was a struggle. But then, as you said, it switched and became, well, not what do I do, then when. It's when should I? Because the condition is the reality. And that will tell me what 
The condition right. tells me what. Is that correct? Right. right. And if I want to have, for example, I realize my conditions, my current conditions don't allow me to achieve certain goal in certain time, what I have to do? Increase my condition now. Instead, focus on the goal. Goal is a consequence of the good condition. So the key for the Chinese classical Chinese strategy is condition, not the goal. So how to create the conditions? So that's why in our system, we have Jisa. Jisa is to identify the conditions, right? Mainly Luxa, when you play Luxa. Some people, they don't understand our sisters. Hey, Wing Chun guys are stupid because no one will fight by doing this, you know? We fight just already punching. Yeah, because if you're focused on the goal, yes, we don't want to punch you, hit you with palm or whatever. But for do that efficiently, you need to understand the conditions, the openings. You need to understand how, when I have to deliver or release my palm or my punch. So that's the point. So if it, uh, many people underestimate the importance of Luxa or the how to play Luxa because they are willing to already to attack, you know, or do something. But the main point when you play Chisa, is exactly the Luxal stage. Because then you are able to deliver or release your, your strike or whatever in a very appropriate moment. So the key word is how to do or key, key, uh, key expression is how to make things in appropriate way, you know? Appropriate, I think, is a very important word, the word because I have to do exactly in the correct time, correct moment, correct way with correct person. Let's say something uh, work against you, but doesn't work uh, against something somebody else. Yep. So I have to do exactly in that moment, and even being the same opponent. Maybe in different moments, I have to do different things, right? So like uh, you being married for so many years. So uh, same person, but each moment you have to adjust, make adjustment because it's not like that. Ah, oh, I know if I offer to my wife uh, uh, flowers, will be the key for have a good relationship, right? Mm -hmm. So, but if you offer every day flower to your wife, uh, she start to complain how, why you spend so much money, you know, because doesn't work in the same, like at the same, uh, the first time you did that, you know? So because each, all each depends instance. of what you're doing, when, and so on. Each instance is unique. Yeah. Okay. Right. So how yeah. is the Sifu then, do you help how, how do you help students find that and recognize that? In in uh, by using Wing Chun system, for example, when the uh, you know about Sao Paulo and uh, the Sao stage is is implicit in the system in uh, in the first trilogy, right? Which is uh, we a patriarch Muya called Sanchen Wing Chun Sanchen including Siunintao, Changkyu, Biuji. But in their phase of system, the most Sao nature is, of course, Siunintao. So let's say when I want to play, for example, Tang Sao, everybody concerned about how to put Tang Sao in the correct position. The angle or the 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 height of the race, uh, everything, right? But they forgot how, what the conditions to do that, and the conditions are based on force. These are the hand, which are very close, so then they stabilize the shoulder 
and how to open the hand. Not many people pay attention how to open the hand and how we open and put your thumb in correct way in order to tansal come out by itself and achieve the correct position by playing by itself because we work on the conditions. So that's the point. When I talk about the conditions and the good conditions is based on what the I mentioned the same author, uh, Francois Julien, called the strategic vector. What is a strategic vector? A strategic vector is the factors who carry the effect by itself. Because in our culture, we believe the effect, the goal we achieve by our the human effort. We have to do Tang Sao. No, Tang Sao was made by self under the correct conditions. Their correct conditions is the moment you must work on it. No, during this, this is too late. In this moment. So by um, sharing or providing conditions to study correctly Wing Chun in this way, naturally the student start to understand better the art of anticipation, the art of create conditions. And of course, naturally he start to uh, save energy because he, he start to understand it's not a matter of effort or doing good but because when you start to doing the movement it's too late already you have to work on this moment this moment how your each kimio mao was set up you know how the column was set up how the the shoulder then the tansao it come out by itself so not so trying each to do the so we see this or the punch Every time or this moment of preparation is the most important, you know, uh, moment for each movement. Not the movement itself. The movement itself is the consequence of good position. The same happen when you play uh, uh, loop sao and you starting by play tan chi sao. Then all always a matter of create conditions to do it. So the Wing Chun practitioner must be a master of create good conditions to achieve what they want. So that awareness needs to be there for that individual. Exactly. And the Wing Chun system provides this all the time, you know? So that's why you make a question in a practical sense, how we can develop this kind of feeling in your students? by teaching Wing Chun system. Not by teaching them my Kung Fu. My Kung Fu is kind of, you know, just mine. Me, uh, of course, I expect my students have an even better Kung Fu than mine. I mean, for their own nature. You know what I mean? They even can express much better than me because uh, I try to provide the even better conditions that I had. But the point is, Teaching Wing Chun, by teaching Wing Chun Kung Fu, I believe is the best way to provide this kind of uh, teaching to our students.